Come on, come on, give me something good, give me something good. I waited 30 days for this. Uh, that's not too bad, not too bad. Not too bad. So 30 days it took to wait for this bloody thing. Oh, I'm happy with that. Why not? And then we'll do some more fishing. And we'll do some more farming. And we'll feed the oyster again. And we'll wait another 30 days and see what we get. Worth it, I guess. It's all free. Yeah, it's a pretty good fishing experience, actually. And this farming experience, like, not the best, but... So, well, hello. Someone's down here with me. Not the best farming experience, but it is still free experience, so... We'll lap it up and feed this oyster. Bye bye, see you in 30 days. And of course, we're gonna get a free clue scrolls from G. Williams. Gilly, Gilly, G. Williams? Gilly Williams, whatever the hell the clown's name is. The Winter Weekend's free clue scrolls. Um, probably be crap, because it's goes on your total level and my total level's not that good on this account so it'd probably just be like a level one clue. Well, let's do it. Off to see the squire. Now, I reckon he's downstairs I think. I know there's one upstairs. Is there one upstairs or is it the same guy or what? He's be down here somewhere. Where are you? There, there, oh, no. there he is. There he is. Let's go talk to him. Hopefully it's this guy. Not the one upstairs. There we go. Alright. Next part of the puzzle. It's got to be one of those. Of course it's going to be the last barrel that I search. Of course. Oh. Come on. Next. Cathy. Okay. Yeah, I'm assuming it would be... One of these houses is I just ran over and checked where the shop was and it wasn't there so we come back this way it should be this house here check these drawers and there we go okay what have we got okay oh it's our own fishing shop that's easy enough that's great another clue scroll winter casket uh, that's the wizard's tower I believe should be somewhere around the back. I think it was against the wall. I can't remember. It's been a long time since I've done clues. A long time. I remember it being around the back near the wall, I believe. I reckon it was about here. Maybe a little bit out. A bit across. Somewhere here. There we go. And there's a the casket too. So what do we got? Oh, wow. Yeah, no. Nah. We get a free roll, we get a free re-roll because of the winter weekend, so we're going to re-roll that. And that's just as bad. <laughs> oh wow. Absolute crap. Oh well, you can't win them all, I guess. Well, I've got some PRS anyway. Maples! Let's chop some maples for our fletching. Because I know it's a really exciting shit. Boring! Boring, boring, boring. Some prayer trading on this i thought it was afk but it's not i'm gonna jiggle this little thing like you had to do in the quest and if i let it go all the way to afk it's only five experience for two ticks i reckon it must be craft experiences are right here um yeah every time this thing goes off that's the one yep bonus bonus experience um, i think i mentioned that in the last video so moving along as you can see in the top right, 128 crawling hands is my slayer experience. That's my slayer task. My slayer task is 128 crawling hands. So oh, we are off to do Priest in Peril because I'm not going to wait to do all 128 of those in dungeons. No, thank you. So we're going to knock this quest over. We got everything we need. We got the bucket. We got the 25 PRS. So that PRS came in handy from the um, clue scroll. And we're just going to knock this quest over because it's really easy, really quick, and really simple. Oh, 
Uh, so what, remember this dog being really hard to kill. Okay, I was just tweeting it. I uh, remember that dog being really hard to kill, maybe when the quest first came out. Um, I remember struggling, like, I must have been a really, really low level. Let's swap this key out. And there we go, that is done. So now we can get to Kenefus. And being able to get the Kenefus means we can do our Slayer task of crawling hands. It also means that I might have a look at some Banshees because they drop pretty good herbs and they drop Mystic components. Or parts of Mystic sets, I should say, not components. I reckon it's gloves and boots, I reckon they drop. So, we'll have a play around with them. Oh. Oh. Oh, construction time! Here we go, let's get this right. And I think that is honestly the first part of the construction experience I've ever gotten. So that would probably be a level. I haven't built a house yet, I haven't done anything like that. So there we go, level up. Level 12, holy shit. That was more than one level. Wow. That, I'm pretty sure that was from level 1 to 12. I'll have to go back and look at a video and see if it shows much construction skill anywhere. Now what's this dude doing? It should give me Slayer experience I reckon. If I remember rightly. There we go. Thank you. I picked these butt. Oh they're ripped off. Absolutely ripped off. Carry my bones. Okay into the Slayer Tower. Let's go and see what these crawling hands have got to offer. Probably nothing. I think gems and gemstone rings is probably the best you're gonna get from these guys I reckon colored gloves because I remember when these like you know when Slayer Tower first came out and they had, like everyone just wanted colored gloves and then people wanted to go to the gnome tree to get the um the colored boots and you could oh uh, you could sell the gloves on free to play and they were members items so they were really popular people were paying like 20 30k maybe 50k even for bloody colored gloves had <laughs> no stats at all I'm gonna pick on some banshees and see if we can get some herbs, I thought. Yeah. Pick that. What's that? Muzzle. Muzzle. Where was that entrance? Ah, oh, right here. Trapdoor. What is this? I don't even know what this is. What the hell are these things? Ravenous. Okay. Um. Are they aggressive? I don't want to run through there and find out I need like 70 Slayer or something and then they just kick my ass on the way through. Okay, back. After a bit of homework, I realise you don't need a Slayer level. And we're going to try and safe spot them and see how we go. They drop full split bark armor, which is going to be good. Um, I mean, I've got Tusker, but it wouldn't be bad to have split bark as well. So we'll try these guys for some split bark, and they drop herbs, and they drop noted coal, so it's a win-win all around, and big bones. Well, I've got split bark gauntlets here. I've got one or two helmets in the bank. So I'm not doing too bad, and they're dropping super attacks and super strength, so that's a bonus as well, because I can't make those yet. Congealed blood, I'm not too fussed about, and the coal, they don't really drop that many coal at a time. Um, I'm getting like one and two coal. And as you can see, I've got a couple of more helmets after going to the bank and dropping off the gloves. Brought some range gear down with me, but that shit does not work. Um, they just doesn't hit. I mean, it does, but it takes ages to kill them, so forget the range. Use a slay dart. I'm going to wrap it up guys, so thank you again for watching, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so, and I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.